Morning Show with Mike and Juliet. Friday. Lose weight by eating cookies? Find out if this doctor's homemade recipe can actually suppress your hunger as m j investigates the diet that sounds too good. Welcome back to the Morning Show. In today's m j Investigates, we're looking at Dr. Siegel's cookie diet. It may sound a little too good to be true, but the main staple of this diet is cookies. Is it possible to lose weight and stay healthy just by eating chocolate and oatmeal raisin and banana cookies all day? This diet creator says, you better believe it. It's a treat associated with guilty pleasure. It is small, round, and baked in an oven. And you can pop it right in your mouth or take a big bite. But whoever thought a cookie would make a good diet product? I'm a physician. I've been treating obesity exclusively for 50 years. Dr. Sanford Siegel listened to his patients' dieting struggles and complaints. They start on the diet, and then before you know it, within a very short time, they're hungry and they can't do it, and they give it up. So he decided to come up with a new diet designed to suppress hunger. I got the idea, why don't I create a food that specifically controls hunger? a formula of the protein substances that are known to control hunger. But his secret mixture needed to be made into a tangible form. The so cookie seemed like the ide ideal vehicle for it. Why a cookie? It was portable and it, uh, uh, it didn't have to be refrigerated. Uh, ladies could carry them around in their purse. The good doctor then tested his invention. Of course, you had to have guinea pigs, and so the obvious ones were the family and friends. Then he launched his diet product on his patients. And got reports from them that, that it really worked. Dr. Siegel made the cookies himself right at home, and almost overnight, everybody in South Florida started hearing about the famous cookie that controls hunger. We became a household name uh, when it came to losing weight. Uh, the nickname uh, was the Cookie Doctor. Then, at his son's urging, the cookie doctor finally took his diet product national. But was it still a success? Let's ask him, the inventor of Dr. Siegel's cookie diet, Dr. Sanford Siegel. So, is it getting some national recognition and some oh, success? Oh, it's a tremendous success. What kind of money? Uh, <laughs> we're doing very well. <laughs> just, just say that, huh? What are you asking your patients to do, though, on the cookie diet? Well, since the cookie is a product designed to control hunger, we ask them to eat the cookie when they're hungry. And in my own medical practice, which is not exactly the same thing that other doctors do when they use our product, but in my own medical practice, uh, our patients eat the cookie when they're hungry during the day. Their, their quota is six, six, which gives them 500 calories. And then they eat a 300 calorie dinner, which is really quite adequate. So that's 800 calories a day Absolutely. people are eating. That sounds like you would lose weight very quickly on this Everyone diet. Everyone loses weight on 800 calories. I've heard from day one mm -hmm. that the best way to lose weight is slowly and healthy way by not doing it rapidly. Yes, that's this why 60% of the public are overweight today because they follow that kind of advice. The only way to lose weight is to do it fast. Now, I'm gonna tell you the reason that. The motivation of the patient is the most important element in this thing. Mm -hmm. In order to lose weight, you have to have a motivated individual. When they see the weight come off a half pound a week, they don't do it, but they give gonna, it up. But if you're gonna wreck your body, because we always heard, maybe this is a myth, oh, it's gonna do damage to your heart to lose that much weight, you should lose two pounds a week. I've heard the same thing. I've, had, I've been on TV shows where they had nutritionists and doctors who said the same thing. I don't recall any of them having ever treated an overweight patient. I have treated a half million overweight patients since 1975, and I have yet to see the first problem from an 800 calorie diet. All right, let's bring in our M&J Investigates panel, medical says. contributor and the other Siegel, Dr. Siegel, Dr. Mark Siegel, and registered dietitian, Carrie Gans. Dr. Siegel, everything I've always learned is you lose weight slowly. I think, Julia, this is a starvation diet. I think the FDA needs to get the teeth to go after this. I think when I reach this Dr. Siegel's age, I better have the sense to retire. I think that, I think that we're talking about metabolic problems here. Look, when you have starvation like this, the brain shuts down, you have problems thinking, you get depression, you get bone loss, you get anemia, you can't fight off infections, you have bleeding problems, you're not getting enough vitamins, you're not getting minerals. The problem isn't with the cookies themselves. They may be very tasty. I'm willing to taste one. The 
problem is the things you're not eating when you eat the cookies. We have to have well-balanced diets in, in this world. We can't eat these restricted diets. They're very, very bad for our health. Underlying diseases can come out, heart disease, strokes, all more, much more likely to occur when you're on a diet Barry, like what about you? Well, first of all, what I want to say is I've also treated a lot of overweight and obese people in my practice. And what I have seen is quite the opposite. Fast weight loss does not work because it's not teaching them to change habits. What it is is offering them a quick fix. They lose the weight. Then once they need to actually go on to living a nice, healthy life and going out with friends and family, they don't know how to eat. And what I teach my patients is how to eat, how to eat a well-balanced diet for long-lasting weight loss, not here's, a quick fix. Here's you the, lose a uh, lot of muscle, cookie, too. You lose a lot of reaction. muscle. It, have you ever had a Star Crunch, one of those Star Crunch things? kind of tastes like that, a little chocolatey. You can, it's not bad. It's not amazing, but, you know, yeah. we don't expect it to be amazing. I've been eating the banana ones this morning. I, I don't it, it, it doesn't taste bad at all. What I'm concerned about is where are they getting their nutrients? Mm -hmm. All they're doing with these kinds of calories, uh, cookies, it's not enough. Let's answer that question after a break. When we come back. When we come back, why does the cookie diet work for a mom and her daughter? They say big time. Mark Siegel, he's here to investigate uh -huh. the cookie diet. On set is the uh, inventor of the diet, Dr. Sanford Siegel. And we also have medical contributor, Dr. Mark Siegel, and registered dietitian, Carrie Siegel. No, Carrie Gantz. So. <laughs> <laughs> Joining us now is uh, Josie and her mom, Yvonne, who are both on the cookie diet right now. Josie, believe it or not, folks, Josie used to weigh 210 pounds. That's right. How long ago? Um, I started the diet in November. I was pushing a size this, wait, 20. This past November. 2007. You weighed yes. how much? Uh, a little over 210. So, oh. yes. So, I've lost 83 pounds since. In seven months? Yes. <laughs> By doing this cookie diet? Yes. I'm now, uh, I'm in a size 3. Let's These are your... the pants I had that I wore. <laughs> Oh my gosh. You're yes. Me. No. So I, I love it. It's been very motivating for me. It's been easy to get back to the gym, which is. No. I had a hard time doing before. So are you doing the cookie diet right now? I am. I'm still on it. Yeah. I'm. But I, eating six cookies a day, that seems like, oh, kind of monotonous after a while. It wasn't. It was very easy. It, it taught me how to eat when I was hungry as opposed to just eating when I needed something to do, yeah. being bored. So it was too easy to go get fast food. I'm not, I don't cook. So it wasn't very convenient to stay home you and pop cook. a cookie. Now, exactly. Mom, you're watching your daughter do this. Were you afraid for it? You think yes. it was dangerous? Yes, I told her, you're insane. That is insane. That is not healthy. And I thought, well, you know, she, I seen her for Christmas. And yeah. I thought she had already dropped some weight. And I thought, well, something's working. So she kept saying, you can try it. You, you can started. do it. What would you think? I thought, well, what the heck? It's dropping off. And so you started I it How March much did you 17th. Weigh? March 17th, you weighed what? I weighed 196. What do you weigh now? I weigh 146. Oh, come on. That's just a few weeks. Yes, it's been three months. And Dr. Siegel, uh, one. Cookie Dr. Siegel. Siegel. You say that this, this massive and rapid weight loss is okay. Absolutely, it's okay. What do you weigh? 500,000 patients. Before? and not a single problem such as I heard. As a matter of fact, Josie, did you have heart problems? Did you have muscle problems? No, no I went to my doctor. They did blood work. Everything was fine. All I was right. healthy. I'm, I want to ask Dr. Dr. Siegel, Siegel a question. Siegel, which, yeah. How does she know? It's only been seven months. Maybe there's going to be long-term effects. The, well, there's another half million patients. I'd like to ask the doctor a okay. question. Doctor, have you yourself ever come across a patient who had a problem with Dr. Siegel's cookie diet? Luckily, my patients are not on this diet, but I've heard of people that have had problems with it. You've heard of them? Yes. Uh -huh. but I, I'm have more, you ever I'm, seen one of these I'm more, patients I'm more yourself. interested in the larger issue of calorie-restricted diets, where yes. people are not getting enough fuel and then going to the gym not and exercise. Not, these, these not people enough are, fuel for what, doctor? These people are poster children for, these, these people are poster children for the positive that, that it can do occasionally. Mm -hmm. I'm much more concerned than the people that are not on this stage, that are going to gyms and exercising, eating so little. You know, the body needs fuel. and we're. Uh, the fuel that it needs is carbohydrates, fats, other energy sources. I'm more concerned about the long term. I think it's great you lost this weight, but you know I'd like to see years, them in two years. You know how, how long years can they just eat this? cookies? I 30, mean, what about 30, they're in the city? Have they gone out to a great restaurant yeah. here? Yes. What about scientific study? Do they know how to study? eat about, a great, healthy meal? Yeah. What about scientific study? Let Dr. Cookie Siegel talk. How about a half million patients? 
You've, you've treated patients. Yes, Have all you the treated time. a half million patients? I couldn't say have, a half have million. Have you ever seen but harm what I can from a low-calorie diet? We, well, Mike, we, we call this anecdotal is... evidence. We call it anecdotal Absolutely. evidence. Absolutely. Where's the scientific research on this? 500,000 anecdotes. That's right. It's anecdotal yeah. evidence. Oh, Boy. We, can, we can probably get this for the rest of the day. Thank you you see, you know, they've lost yeah. a lot of weight. We're going to give you some more information on Dr. Siegel's cookie diet on our website, mnjshow.com.